woman was the center of the Manhattan Opera House, or Opera Company. She was the leader. So when the Met said, well, we'll take you if you, you know, if you, you can't, you're, you're done at the Manhattan, but we'll, we'll take you, she said no. <laughs> she said absolutely not. And all the French singers who were with her said no. The only two people said yes to the Met. Uh, Louisa Tetrazzini of the Chicken Tetrazzini uh, <laughs> uh, A big, 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 wonderful, big woman. Um, she went, and so did John McCormick. John McCormick went to the, um, to the Met. Um, everybody else went to Chicago and formed the Chicago Grand Opera Company. That's the first of the Chicago Grand Opera. There are several of them, I, I believe. But this was the first one. This one lasted at least until 1915. Um, they moved to Chicago, and they hired this guy, Andreas Dipel, who was an ex-employee of the Met. He'd gotten mad at the Met and quit uh, during the wars. And so he said, sure, I'll general manage for you. He was a singer and a uh, stage director. And then Garden and he and Mr. Dyble went after Mr. Compan uh, uh, Com now I can't <laughs> Com Companini, thank you. <laughs> they went and said, Hey, come back. It's all right. Oscar's gone. You can't you can't have any more fights with him anymore. And we want you. And he came back. And Dipole announced that the first show that they would do was the Matoma. Mm -hmm. And then they stuck it to the Met. But we're not doing it in Chicago, and we're not doing it in New York. We're going to Philly. And we're going to Oscar's house, the Philadelphia Opera House. Except that he had deeded it over, mm -hmm. or at least Arthur and Willie had deeded it over to the Met. So the Met immediately renamed it. <laughs> And that's why when you, if you caught, you may have caught when, when I showed it to you, it has a big met on it. So this, so it, it ends up, um, they also ended up announcing the casting. So this started the country fervor all over again. Everybody couldn't wait to hear the first American opera. Um, now we're going to go back again to the opera. Uh, we're now in Act Two, and we're now in Santa Barbara, the town. Uh, and it's the real Santa Barbara. Uh, everybody in the town is celebrating the fact that Barbara has grown up and is now a woman, and they're having a huge fiesta. And her father, they make this huge procession in that is right out, it, it, it lets you know the movies are coming. Absolutely grand procession. And Barbara's father, Don Francisco, talks about, oh, how his, his wife died, and now his daughter is grown up, and she's a woman. And Barbara tries to be very pious about the whole thing, and then she remembers how old she was. 